I am a slave to no one, Charon. We share a common fate, Kratos. The gods will release neither of us from our torture. Be gone. It is not yet your time, mortal. Here, where the souls of the wicked are tortured in the pits of Tartarus, the wailing and agony of the damned resonated deep throughout the bowels of the underworld. Kratos saw before him the remnants of the old rulers of Earth, the mighty Titans. Defeated by the gods and enchained in the depths of Tartarus, they suffered their unjust penance. And for their torment, it was well known that these immortal beings hated the Olympians with immeasurable fury. By the hands of Zeus, the Titans had been bound and shackled in their torment for a thousand years, with no hope of escape. Now the chains that once held the Titan Atlas lay broken, and only one question plagued the thoughts of Kratos. Who will release such evil? would not hold Atlas, and they would not hold me either. The gods have obviously taken pity on their slaves. You underestimate me, Charon. This time I will not be so merciful. Having defeated Charon, Kratos journeyed deeper into Hades and closer to his goal. For in the distance, the bright light of Helios illuminated all of the underworld. But something on the shore caught his attention. And to Kratos, it almost seemed an apparition. Calliope! Upon seeing his daughter, Kratos realized that all that he had been working for, 
all that he had wanted was within reach. Years of service to the gods had not delivered him from his pain. Never had it eased the burden of his past. And now, Calliope was found. Calliope! Kratos looked, but his daughter was nowhere to be seen. In the middle of the room sat a graceful figure, a figure he recognized all too well. Persephone, wife of Hades, and queen of the undead. Where is my daughter, witch? Choose your words carefully, ghost of Sparta. You address the goddess of the underworld. Your daughter is well. She lives among the pure souls in the Elysian fields. Lead me to her! Have you forgotten, Kratos? The Olympians need you. They slumber at the hand of Morpheus. I have faithfully served the gods, yet they do not give me what I ask. I grow weary of their demands. The gods on Olympus failed me too, Kratos. I was betrayed by Zeus and tricked by my husband, Hades. Now I am to stay in the underworld as queen of the dead, to serve the fallen and care for them as my own children. Persephone, I demand to see my daughter! As you wish. If Calliope is your true desire, I can help you. But be warned, Ghost of Sparta. The world of man will suffer because of your choice. I care little for the world and its suffering! Where is she? If you are to see your daughter again, you must become worthy of Elysium. Cast your weapons at the Forsaken Tree, and let it release the evils of your past. Only then will you be free of your sins, and be granted passage through the Divine Gates. You have done well, Kratos. Walk through the portal and find the one you seek. Calliope! Father? My oh. child. Why did you go? I am here now, child. And I will not leave you again. I have watched over you pathetic mortals for a thousand years, and it is always the same. Serving yourself before the needs of others has always been your flaw. But no matter. For now you serve my purpose. It is time for all that came before to end. The Titan will fulfill his role and finish what I have started. I released Atlas. You? As you were pathetically disarming yourself, Atlas completed the task I set him out to do. With the power of the sun in his hands, it is only a matter of time before he destroys the pillar that holds the world. And Olympus with it. But why? Do you think it was my choice to wed a man I did not love? Live a life I did not choose? I was betrayed by the very gods that once saw me as their own. But no more. Once the pillar is destroyed, the world will revert into chaos. And what is to become of you? I will have my peace and be free from this miserable existence. I will perish, but it is my choice. 
Father, what's happening? I'm scared. In your selfish choice to be with your daughter, you have caused her ruin. No. Elysium falls to Kratos. She will perish. No! I will not let the gods take her from me again! Father! The choice was clear to him, yet impossible to make. To stay with his daughter meant the end of the world and the end of her. To stop Persephone and Atlas would mean forsaking his daughter forever. While his hatred and anger for the gods grew ever stronger, he knew there was but one thing to do. See. Kratos soon realized that what he gained in humanity, he lost in power. He would need to become the monster he once was if he was to defeat Persephone. need to become the ghost of Sparta once again, if he was to save his child. He would need to sacrifice his life with her, so that she may live. moment, Kratos knew his destiny was not with Calliope. The fates were never that kind. Spartan, witness the end. This world behind Atlas.
believe the Olympians will help you. But I ask, where are your gods now, Kratos? Why do they not come to your aid? I do not need the aid of the gods! But my path is now clear to me. I will serve them! And they will keep their promise to free me from my past! I ask you, Spartan, what good is the promise of an Olympian? It is all I have, Atlas! We will meet again, Spartan. The fates have deemed it. One day, you will regret what you have done here. The mighty Atlas was left in chamber, cursed to forever hold the world on his shoulders. Greater penance than even Zeus himself had placed on the Titans. The fate of Atlas had been sealed, and the goddess Persephone was no more. Kratos had saved mankind, but that mattered little to him. By forsaking his daughter, he had abandoned the only person he ever cared for. What he had long sought and finally found was now forever lost. As the sun chariot rose higher in the sky, and the might of Helios shone once again on the world, Morpheus retreated to the shadows. Kratos gained little satisfaction from his victory. With years of servitude in front of him, he would need to confront his past and fight to reclaim the humanity he lost on the day his dark legend was born. The dire toll of his relentless battles finally caught up with him as Kratos fell from the chariot to the earth. Was this sacrifice too much for one to bear, even for the man who was known as the Ghost of Sparta? He has again served us well, Athena. He is a remarkable mortal. He is weak. Shall we help him? He'll live. They must.